but probably going against his better judgment as a supposed intellectual, inspiring philosophy came at me and made it sound like that's what I was saying. Supposed intellectual, huh? Well, I didn't make you say anything you did not. I simply played your clips and then responded. That's a straw man fallacy. No, I did not straw man you, sir. I opened my response to you with acknowledging that you said Christmas isn't pagan. But after that, you went on to argue there are pagan leftovers in Christmas, like the Yule Log. And I responded to that. You also made some inaccurate claims about pre-Christian winter solstice festivals. And I responded to that as well. Nothing I said was a straw man. This is Eerdman's Dictionary of the Bible, in the entry for Christmas, written by Ronald Huggins. And he gets into this stuff, the Feast of the Nativity, how it relates to the winter solstice, the birthday of Saul and Victor. That's from an academic Bible dictionary. So Huggins' entry is very brief, unlike the sources that I provided. And he doesn't give any evidence of pagan leftovers in Christmas. And he also makes an error in claiming that Sol Invictus was celebrated on December 25th in the year 274 AD. We don't have any sources to confirm this. As I said in my last reply to you, the only text which mentions a pagan festival on 1225 is the Philokalian calendar, which dates to 354 AD. So this brief dictionary entry does not provide evidence for pre-Christian winter solstice festivals, as you initially claimed. 